My next guest takes on Reginaldo Felix coming up here at Bellator 216 on February 16th. It is Justin the Fort Sumter joining me here on the program. Justin, how are you? Uh, nothing, nothing much, man. Just uh, stepped out for, for lunch. Uh, um, you know, enjoy talking to you. Always enjoy having me on. Um, Where are you right now? You mentioned you're stepping out. Uh, are you at work? Are you training? What are you doing today? I'm, um, I'm at work uh, from uh, 7 to 5. I, I uh, have my uh, project management position uh, with a construction company out here in uh, Connecticut. Good stuff. Well, I uh, don't want to get you in trouble with the boss, so I appreciate the time. But uh, let's uh, let's talk about this fight for Bellator. Obviously, a big opportunity here, a second fight for Bellator. Um, how did this all come together? Um, you know, um, after my um, <clears throat> after my uh, contender series fight, I, I still wanted to you know keep a, a high profile. You know, um, definitely be be out there in the um, in the waves, especially um, you know coming off a loss, but still trying to kind of keep relevant and keep uh, on the top level. So, you know, they, they offered me a uh, um, fight for Bellator and, you know, I just jumped on it and, and you know, just want to keep the ball rolling and keep the momentum with me. Were you looking to fight sooner than your last fight? Because we saw you last compete. You referenced it there on Contender Series in July. Was this the right amount of time off or did you try to get something in between there? Uh, no, I just wanted to t take some time out. You know, I put a lot of energy uh, into that fight and um, definitely, you know, it didn't go the way I wanted, but, uh, you know, just wanted to get work on a, uh, a few things and, and um, you know, uh, especially with um, I have a, a baby on the way. Um, so oh, congratulations. Wanted get, yeah, I wanted to get everything, everything in order, everything straight. And then, um, you know, definitely wanted to, to start the year off right. So uh, Feb February came around and I was like, you know, there's plenty time for me. Um, and I had some good training in. So uh, definitely ready for this one. What did you learn the most from that fight to, uh, or that, that uh, fight you just mentioned there against Ian Heinish on Contender Series? Um, you know, a, a lot of it's just, you know, don't let your, 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 your head get out of the game. Um, uh, I, uh, I felt that, you know, everything was right. You know, I trained the hardest. I trained, uh, you know, I, I felt phenomenal. Just for a split second, my, my thought, thought process went out of the, the, the fight. And, you know, I mean, especially at the high levels, you really can't do that. You know, it's just it literally only takes one second um, to change the fight. And, and, and um, you know, just keeping my, my head on straight, keeping focus um, when I step in the cage. That's that's something I definitely have uh, been needing to work on. So, um, you know, I put a lot of focus on on um, just my mental focus uh, as far as when I step in the cage. Um so definitely, you know, next time I step in the case, I'll be a whole different person, you know, more focused, more determined, and, and, you know, just ready to get my hand raised. Does it make the loss any easier knowing that, you know, Heinish was signed to the UFC and, and, he, and he had a good debut? He beat Cesar Ferrer. I mean, I, I think people were counting him out in that one. At least, uh, you know, the loss wasn't to, like, a, you know, not a great opponent. I mean, Heinish looks pretty legit. Yeah, yeah. You mean, like, he, he's definitely, I would say, you know, I me mean, out of all the people that I talked with, he was the, the most ready for the UFC even before the contender series, and you know what I mean. Uh, I think I did, I did well, you know, considering he, he TKO'd me, but um, definitely held my own um, um, to that point, and you know, definitely uh, put like a, a little boost underneath my my butt as far as hey, you know, what I mean, I, I really belong there, and I just gotta work on a few things, and I'm there. Your opponent, uh, Reginaldo Felix, a uh, five and two record. But I think if you look at the two of you, uh, experience wise, I'd say you fought some some tougher competition. Is that kind of how you view, the, view this fight as well? Um, you know, I, I definitely had some tougher competition, but you know, it kind of all, all boils down to uh, where you are fight day um, when, you, when you step in the cage. So you, you know, I mean, I'm not taking them lightly. Um, I, I know my my opponents were a little bit tougher than his. Um, but, you know, I'm going in there with the, the same mentality um, I did for the, the um, uh, contender series. Is, uh, he's going to be well prepared for me, and I'm going to be well prepared for him. And, and um, just um, having that mentality and, and looking forward to some, some uh, tough exchanges and um, him being ready for everything I have and um, for me to just come out with my hand raised. Training camp, anything different at all in terms of anything you're doing, or have you kept things pretty much the same? Uh, pretty much the same. I started training with um, uh, Glover Texera a little bit. Um, he's he's uh, relatively close to me, so you know, just getting the, some different looks, um, some some high caliber um, training, and um, you know, just up in up in my um, my cardio, making sure my cardio right, up in my strength and conditioning. So pretty much the same, just you know, changing up the training partners a little bit. 
Who, who are some of the other training partners you get to work with aside from, from Glover? I know you work with Nick Newell as well. Who are, who are some of the other guys you get to work with? Yeah, I work with uh, uh, the Couvernel brothers out here, and um, they're out in Bridgeport. Some real good uh, sports jujitsu guys. Um, really, I feel my, my ground game's at a, a whole nother level as far as, um, you know, M- MMA competition. And so, you know, anywhere this, this fight takes, um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm extremely capable, well prepared for anything. And what about the weight cut? Uh, as soon as you found out about this fight, did that process start then, or will you do it sort of closer to fight time? Um, pretty much, it's just like I found out um, around Thanksgiving. Um, oh, so, so that's you the had li- a decent amount of notice then for this fight. That's, that's yeah, great. yeah. Well, like I had some notice uh, as far as the opponent. You know, I mean, they kind of narrowed down the opponent a little bit closer to the fight. But I knew that you know February I was um, looking to fight. Um, so you know, as far as the the holidays, you know, I, I kind of let myself go a little bit but um you know um just getting my diet right you know eating the right things it's it's not really weight cut for me is not really a big deal you know i'm sitting at like 206 205 right now um uh, probably by the end of the month i'll be at 195 pounds and um you know just easy cut who's gonna be in your corner for this fight um nick um nick's definitely gonna be in my corner um i, I gotta see if uh, uh um Gonna ask to see if Glover might step in, see if he, he wants to. Uh, but you know, I mean, usually my my, my other training partners will come in and um, assist me. And how do you see this fight playing out on the 16th? Um, I, I see it just me uh, dictating the pace, dictating where the fight goes. Um, I, I, see, I feel like my stand up, my my um, wrestling, and my my grappling is is on a, a different level. Um, not taking them lightly, but um, I feel like a, just a um, tactical. Um, time fight for me so and what's next after this i mean this is i'm sure just a one fight deal just with the you know the proximity of where this card is and how close you live and everything like that is the plan to try and stay with bellator i guess you're keeping your options open at this point because uh, again you've got a great record at six and two you get the win here you'll be seven and two yeah uh, just keep it open um i I don't feel like i I need to 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 pressure forward for you know bellator uh ufc you know I, i would like like to be signed with one of them but um you know just continue what I'm doing. You know, I was on a six fight win streak uh, before my um, second loss and, you know, just keep moving forward, keep the momentum in. And sooner or later, someone's going to want to sign me and, and and that's what I'm looking forward to. Would you be open to going back on Contender Series uh, for this upcoming season? Uh, just, you know, again, because it would be a good opportunity to get into the UFC? Yeah, I mean, like if, if that that's offered up or, you know, I mean, a short notice fight, you know, I, I'm always, oh, shoot, uh, I'm always ready and, um, you know, uh, whatever, uh, whatever comes first, it's just uh, I'll be ready for it. It's a great card coming up here, February sixteenth. It is Bellator two sixteen. Uh, Justin, always good catching up with you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shoutouts, the floor is yours. Um, just want to say um, thank you to you again for having me, and um, shout out to my manager, uh, Top Game Management Tyson uh, Charter, and um, Nick Newell Fighting Arts Academy. Uh, shout out to uh, Redwood, Redwood Coast, uh, CBD Water, um, Wash and Wag, Pet Grooming, um, Foundation, CT Supplements for, um, you know, keeping me fueled and, and all the other people that um, just helped me along the way. Uh, you know, this has been a long journey and um, I'm glad they've been sticking with me. So shout outs to all my fans and friends. If you guys want to find me, you can go to um, Instagram at Fort Sumter MMA or Twitter with the same handle. Or you can check me out on uh, Facebook at Justin the Fort Sumter.